So it's pretty sunny today and I thought I'd challenge myself a bit and try and do something that I'm not very comfortable with and that is capturing those greens that you get in the grass on a summer's day. So I'm going to use this painting that I found uh, from a Danish painter which I really like and try and use that as a reference point uh, to see if I can try and capture those greens. And I'm not far from home today just beside the house so I can run in if I forget some paint or whatever. And here's a sneak peek at the finished painting. So I'm just taking some of this olive green colour and thinning it down a bit so I can use that to sketch in with today. So I'll bring in the horizon around about here, a third of the way up I think. And I also want some of these trees coming in on the side here, so bring them in around about here I think. And I'll just indicate the path coming down. Even though this path is small, I'm going to make it wider than it is because I like the composition of the painting that I'm using as a reference. So my aim is not to copy the painting that I'm using as a reference, it's just to use the aspects of it that are interesting and work well compositionally. Just bring in some of these trees on this right hand side to frame the painting. And luckily I've got a four year old daughter who can be my model. I'm thinking she should be around about here. So just putting a kind of general dark colour while she's standing there. So she doesn't have to stand there forever. Yeah, I think that's okay, Nambi. Thank you. My model's been taken away now, she has to go shopping with her mummy, so I'm having to try and remember what she looked like. So now I'm going to look at the colour for the sky to try and get that keyed in so that the rest of the painting will hopefully fit in around that, using some cerulean blue and some titanium white. Normally I'd put in the sky probably at the last after putting the darks in but I think this time it's going to help me to key in the rest of the painting I'm just trying to maintain that horizon as I go across the painting all right so I'm going to start looking at some of the greens now taking a little bit of viridian green and some ultramarine blue I'm just looking at my painting reference there as well and just seeing how dark he's gone with his shadows. And what I'm going to do is bring in some lemon yellow now just to lighten up those mid-tones. Just bringing in a bit of Naples yellow now just to warm up that lemon yellow. It can be pretty cold. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the combination of colours here so I can play around with it on the panel once I get started with it. Alright, so I'm going to start bringing in these darks now under the trees. A lot, lot lighter than I normally would, but I'm just going with it. Just looking for big shapes in the shadows. Also trying to be careful not to touch too much of that white sky with my brush because I don't want to get it into this dark mix if I can help it. bringing in this green now on the grass and I think what I'll do brush stroke wise is to bring in these vertical strokes so that you kind of get the impression that there's long grass here and as I'm looking at this grass in the foreground here I can really see it's it's very um, bright and so I'm gonna bring that in in places Just squinting at the scene I can also see quite a bit of dark blue in here as well against those highlights so I'm just suggesting them and just experimenting a bit and seeing how they sit not trying to paint every single blade of grass but just picking out highlights here and there where I see them 
I'm just looking at the reference painting that I've got here to see what this guy's done with the bushes in the painting. It's kept them pretty abstract really. Just bringing in a few highlights here and there just to create that dappled sun effect. Just start bringing in the grass on this side over here as well, just using the same mix that I made for the other side there. Time to bring in the central part here. Just try it out and see how that looks. It's okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct my brush strokes so that the eye is drawn into the middle of the painting. I think what I'll do is I'll introduce a bit more blue into these trees in the background here just to really push them out into the distance. Yeah, so I feel like I've taken it as far as I can out here anyway. So uh, I'll take it back into the studio and we can have a look at it there. So here's the finished painting. And I did tweak a few things when I came in, like uh, around the figure on, on Mia here, just to try and refine a few details and also reinforce some of the shadows over here. But other than that, I just left it as it was really. I tried to keep the trees as abstract as I could so that they didn't distract from the main focus of the painting. And I just made sure that I added a few more details into the figure of Mia so that the eye is drawn there rather than anywhere else. And all in all, I think the greens worked pretty well together and I'm happy that I was able to work with them and go as bright as I could. And I also think it really helped to have that other painting with me so that I could use that as a reference and get some ideas from that. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It's really nice to hear from you and uh, I'll see you in the next one.